Hello, I'm Hayden Derrick, and... Hi, I'm Thomas O'Brien. And this is our skill challenge week two. Um, we were asked to uh, recreate um, an area in Birmingham and port it into Unreal Engine. Uh, we decided to use B&M as it's just a brilliant place where we all love. Um, here are some reference images we used for the outside. Um, me and Tom went separately, took some photos that we used for textures and stuff. Uh, as you can see, the cache generator's there. Um, and as, as you can see in the top right image, it's also there in the um, model. Everything's accurate as we wanted it to be. Um, here's the interior of uh, our game which we decided to change up a little bit, uh, the inside, to make it more game-friendly. Um, uh, making of the models, we used textures that we grabbed ourselves and uh, created the model using the reference images. Uh, the gameplay is you go around the inside maze and collect milk, egg, soup and a flapjack. Um, once you've collected all of these items, you are able to go to the checkout and uh, exit the store, just like real life. Uh, this shows how we used modeling to create the models, texturing to texture them. We used blueprints for opening the doors and making all the objects float, uh, you know, the items you need to collect. Uh, we used UI by the use of Leon at the side telling us what items we need. Lighting, because it's all spectacularly lit. Uh, we use static meshes, which is where we ported it into the Unreal Engine, all of the models. And we use levels where you enter B&M and you end up in uh, the inside of it, which we wanted to be a bit bigger, like a maze, because it is like a maze. Uh, me, Hayden Derrick, did the modeling, the texturing, and the brilliant level design on the inside. Thomas O'Brien did the gameplay, he did the blueprints, and he is just an overall lovely person. Leon Stone, he's not in our group, but he's the source for the inspiration, like the tomato sauce. Um, and now for a gameplay demonstration by Tom. Yeah, I'm going to provide some gameplay. Hi, I'm going to do the, the demo for our Skill Challenge 2 game. This is our recreation of BNM in Unreal. Uh, so yeah, right now we have our model we've used for the outside of B&M. So uh, this was uh, made using reference images. We took pictures from around the actual B&M building and tried to make as close a representation as possible. So we're going to go in, you can see the, the, the door slide open for us, and uh, the gameplay part starts when we go in, we're transported to a maze. So we're given a shopping list on the side there, our friend Leon is showing us the items we need. So we've got a sign here saying this is where we're going to get flapjacks from, so we follow this arrow. We'll find uh, a nice floating flapjack, which we can pick up. We'll go in our inventory, and that will, we, we, that, that's, that's it checked off the list. So here we can see we've got more options to go to. I'm going to go get some milk first. So I'm going to go this way. See, our, our map is made up of store shelves to show yeah, that, that, that those B&M store shelves with images we've taken of the actual B&M stock put on them. Uh, going through here. But yeah, we've got, uh, the, we've got a UI here on the side showing the shopping list that was done using a, uh, an image plate attached to the camera, uh, which we put a transparent image of just our shopping list in the corner there. Uh, yeah, no, here's, here's our first item, is our, our, our container of milk. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, and I can use this teleporter here, will transport us back to where we started so we can get our bearings. See, so, yeah, I'm back at the front, there's the, the tills we're going to have to go to at the end once we've got everything. Uh, so looking at the signpost here, I think we should probably go get some soup next. Let's get some soup next. Yeah, we've got uh made sure that uh with you I have a uh, a spotlight attached to my character right now to make sure the UI is always uh lit so that you can always see what you need to get. I might get lost in this maze here. I can't go through there. Small hint is that you can jump, and if you see light, that's where the next item is. But you can see there's our can of soup. This was a uh, uh, textured, or it was made in Maya, and then textured with an outside uh, image. So I can take the teleport one more time. Uh, and then it said the eggs would be down this way, so I'm going to take the path down this way. 
might get lost again. No, I think I know where I am. Yeah, there they are. Once we collect this last object, that will uh, all, all of the, uh, the 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 triggers will be set for like all all the items being uh, being got, and that will open up the teleporters to go back home if I head back to the checkouts. I can find my way. Yep, these have all lit up. Allow us to leave B and M. Yeah, there's a spawn us inside. We can go past the tills. Open the door again. Go back outside. Thank you for shopping. <laughs>